yeah hi and thanks for joining me on another vlog yeah i was planning on going out today and um doing a, doing a vlog but um unfortunately the weather's just been too bad here in north wales uh, it's been snowing all night uh, which is now turned to rain we've got grey skies i'm just f totally flat lighting so not too good at all once i uh, go out vlogging and i manage to capture a few decent images um i shoot home and i put them in lightroom so I'm going to go through the process I use uh, editing the RAW file straight out of the Fuji Film X-T2 which is slightly different than what I'm used to because um, I've only had this camera for about 2 or 3 months I always shot with, uh, with Canon so it's just a little bit different the process you have to do Th the main difference is with, uh, with the X-T2 you can't sharpen any of your images in Lightroom because it causes like these little wormy artifacts which just looks terrible um, but I've learned since that you can actually do it in Photoshop so we'll be going through that process so without further ado let's get straight into Lightroom and have a look at some of these images so here we are now over in Lightroom I'm going to pick one of my Fujifilm pictures here to do a, a little small edit on so I shall pick one here of Landon up here I'm not going to do a lot of editing just do a, a quick one so we'll go over into the develop module And just by looking at the picture, um, I'm quite happy with the crop, except for this, just this little piece down the bottom here, which is a little bit annoying. So I shall just do a small crop on that, bring that up to get rid of that. Possibly bring the sky down a touch as well. To bring the pier around about on the top third there. That'll do. Uh, the first thing about this picture here um, is the sky is pretty awful just just plain bland sky so I'm gonna try and just bring out a little bit of detail in the sky by adding a graduated filter so we'll put that on the on the screen like so bring it down a tad more I think probably down to about there we'll probably bring down the exposure just a tad Maybe like so. I'll alter the temperature to warm it, warm it up a bit. Put a bit of a warm glow in it. Try a little bit of clarity as well. And um, a little bit of dehaze. Just a little touch. Now I've noticed a couple of spots as well here and there now that I've used that dehaze thing. So we'll just click OK for now. And um, we'll actually get rid of a few of these little spots, I think, now. There's one there. There's one down the bottom here as well. There's one here. Maybe a few others, but that'll do just for now. So what else can we do with this image, just quickly? I think what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll try a little bit of clarity over the whole overall image. Just a touch. And I'll just show you now what the effect uh, of sharpening does in Lightroom with Fujifilm files so we'll just click on the image anywhere try here for now we'll go down and we'll put a bit of sharpening on this and as you can see it creates all these little wormy artifacts which just looks terrible so I'll get rid of all the sharpening completely and we'll do the rest of the process um, in Photoshop so let's switch over now to Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to do is add that little bit of sharpening. Uh, the way I would do that 
would be quite simply to go to um, filters, go to sharpen and unsharp mask. The settings I have already in here uh, work best for me but you can always alter the amount, the radius and the threshold but for now I'll leave it as it is and that's that done. Um, my next thing I would do would be to add a border uh, which is really simple. I found the easiest way to do it is just to double click on the background layer to create a new layer. Just click OK. And then double click on the layer and it opens up the effects panel. Now to add a border you just simply click on one of these strokes here. As you can see it puts a nice white border around the image. But if you want to put your own just click on the little plus sign next to the stroke here. You can then alter the size of the border. You can alter the color by simply just clicking anywhere in the image. We'll cancel that for now. Once you're happy with the border that you've got, obviously just click OK. And that's basically it. Now sometimes, uh, depending on what I'm going to do with the image, I may require um, putting um, a signature on it somewhere. So I'll just go through that process with you now. I'd quite simply go to File, Place Embedded, and these uh, are signatures that I've already made. I made these in Photoshop, saved them as PNGs that are on like an invisible layer. Um, I used a Wacom um, notebook for this. Uh, if you're not too sure how to make uh, any of these sorts of signatures, I'll leave a link in the description below of the guy that I used to um, to create them. So I'll place that in, and I'll just simply click on the corner, holding down the shift key, and I'll scale it right down to probably something like that, and I can just move that wherever I require in the image. And I think for this one I shall put it in the bottom right. Just about there. And click OK. And that's it basically. Um, obviously to finish off you just flatten the image and then exit out of Photoshop it automatically asks you do you want to save it well obviously you'll click yes it saves it for you and then opens it up back again into um, into Lightroom there's the fin there's the finished image now looking at it now there's probably a few other little things I could do I mean pff, I could remove these hotspots here but I'll, leave, I'll just leave them in for now I wanted to try um, and dehaze the whole image to see what that does to it Probably darken it down a little bit too much. I'll alter the exposure just a touch. In fact, I'm going to leave that as it is. Anyway, that's it really. And um, I hope some of this helped some some of you people out there. Um, it is quite simple to do. I mean, if I can do it, anybody can. So that's it for this week. Uh, thanks for watching. If you liked, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. And hopefully when the weather picks up, we'll be back outside again.